Good morning, everybody. Caroline Sandy for Professional Estate Planner. Yesterday, Monday, Monday the 8th, um, Monday the 8th of January, it, it's the first full working Monday after the Christmas break. And for those of us working in private client and family law, it's historically a very busy day. People try and work at relationships over Christmas for the sake of the children, get to the new year, decide that they can't, and it's not the best thing to, to continue. I had two particular messages, one phone call, one message yesterday, asking me if a trust can protect assets leading into a divorce. Now, trusts can protect assets providing they are set up for the correct legal reasons. And at the time of setting them up, there is no anticipation that creation of that trust and settlement of that asset into that trust will create a level of deprivation. So that's the really important one to remember here. I always advise clients to get planning in place earlier rather than later. And if, for example, you come into a relationship that's a blended family, and you've got assets that are your family assets, and they might even be property that's been passed down the family, and you want to make sure that go, that goes to your children and not becomes part of the blended family assets, then that's a really good time to do a trust. And it gives some stability and financial security and clarity before this relationship is entered into. If you are trying to instruct me to hide assets from a divorce, I won't take that instruction because I can't guarantee that it would stand up. If there's full clarity with both parties, as in, look, we've got this asset, we're going to divide everything else, but this particular one, I think we agree. And this is obviously always in the case of a mutually agreeable separation, which are very unusual. Let's box this asset off for the children. Let's deal with everything else separately. Then, yes, talk to me. I'll do that. I have lots of clients who want to put their asset into trust, not due to relationship issues of their own, but potentially relationship issues of their children. And they want to make sure that the assets that they've worked hard for go to their children and their children's children. And wouldn't at any point in the future form part of any total asset for divorce proceedings. So, for example, something happens to you, you leave your house to your child or children, and one of them is going through a divorce. Their share of that value would form part of their total assets for the divorce proceedings. So a share, therefore, of what you've worked hard for would end up going to the potential future ex-spouse. So that's quite often what people don't want to happen. So always worth a chat, happy to have a chat, but please do remember that trusts must be created for the correct legal reasons and must not elude to deprivation. But I'm always happy to have a chat, see if I can help somewhere. Take care.